Hi there neighbors. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at Optronics Glow Light LED Stop Turn and Tail Trailer Lights. And this is what our lights look like when they're installed. I've currently got the tail lights turned on and you can see that here with the outer ring. The center section is for your stop as well as your turn circuits. The 22 LEDs inside are protected with the polycarbonate housing. The housing is sonically sealed to ensure that it's completely watertight. This is ideal for boat trailers, because when you load your boat into the lake, you have to back it down the loading dock, and typically your tail lights will go down in the water. With it being completely weather tight, you don't have to worry about any water entering inside of your unit, causing any short circuits or damage. In addition to boat trailers, it's also gonna be great for utility trailers like the one we have here, as well as box trailers or box trucks. LEDs last significantly longer than incandescent bulbs, and to further ensure that this light is gonna give you long years of service, all the components inside are gonna be surface mount, which can withstand vibrations better than your through hole components. Now you wanna keep in mind that these come as a quantity of one, so if you wanna replace both your driver and passenger side, you're gonna to wanna to pick up two. These lights are easy to install, and one of the things that I really like about these lights is how they are a flush mount design. So if you have a trailer like the one we do here, where we're replacing existing lights that would poke into a grommet, it can do that job because it'll cover up that existing hole. Or if you don't have an oval hole already in your trailer, you only need to drill just a small hole for your wiring to poke through. You'll need to make sure it's large enough for your connector to poke through. So I would recommend using at least a one inch hole saw. Once you've got that drilled out, you simply plug your connector into your standard three pin pigtail. Now, if you don't have a standard three pin pigtail on your trailer, you can purchase a pigtail here at eTrailer.com. This pigtail comes with a ring terminal pre-installed on the ground wire, and it has your two other circuits, one for your tail lights and one for your stop turn. Just go ahead and plug that in, put your wiring in, whether it's through your oval hole or a hole that you drilled out for the light. And then we're just using self-tapping screws to get ours mounted up. You can also use nut and bolts. If you need some self-tapping screws, you can pick some up here at eTrailer.com or at your local hardware store. You want to make sure that you don't tighten them down too tight so you don't crack the plastic housing. You can then take your excess wiring and push it up underneath your trailer and use some zip ties to keep it nice and secure. If you need some zip ties, you can also pick those up here at eTrailer.com. Another thing that you can consider, if you want to make your light pop a little more, there is a stainless steel bezel that is available that will go around your light. And when you're installing it, you simply put your screws through your bezel and then into the light and into the trailer. And that completes our look at Optronics Glow Light LED Stop Turn and Tail Trailer Lights.